excited to be here at Mills 50 talking about tacos, coffee, and real estate. Mills 50 is called that because it's on the intersection of Mills and Colonial Drive 50. So you love it here. This community is very vibrant, great spots to eat, great spots to have coffee, and great nightlife. This area used to be referred as Little Saigon. And you'll notice it when you go to the pubs or clubs here, there's a lot of Asian flair. One of my favorite places is Tori Tori, which is the equivalent to a Japanese pub. And if you ever make it there, make sure you try the crab rice. I am ready for some coffee though, so let's go to our first stop, Lineage. All right guys, here we are, Lineage Coffee Shop, our first stop in the tour of Mills 50. Let's go in, let's get my favorite drink, which is a Cortado. One of the reasons why I love Lineage is their roaster on coffee and I absolutely love their Cortado. It also makes a great stop if you're heading into downtown Orlando and it's very popular amongst the young professionals. But I'm getting hungry, so let's go over to one of my favorite taco spots, Black Rooster. I'll see you there. Here we are, stop number two on the Mills 50 tour, and we're at Black Rooster Taqueria, one of my absolute favorites in Orlando, and you love it. Let me show you what it has to offer. Here we are, about to enjoy our food. A couple of the things that make Black Rooster Taqueria special are the freshly made tortillas, handmade, crispy tacos and headmade guacamole and the barometer for any taco place has to be the carne asada taco and they make an excellent one here. On top of that you'll enjoy a very fine crispy fish and my personal favorite is pork fat taco. So let's dive in. All right, we had our coffee, we had our tacos. Now let's talk about my third favorite thing, which is real estate. So let's go check out a typical home here in the Mills 50 district. And let's talk about the real estate market at this current time. Let's go. Here we are, third stop on our tour. And this is your typical Mills 50 home built between 1910 and 1960s, priced between 450 all the way up to a million in this area. There are some builders that are building townhouses here. Those are going for about a million and a half. Let's go and let's check out this one though and I'll tell you some of the features that you'll find here in the area. Let's go. Here we are inside, which you will find that most homes here in the area are having hardwood floors. Hopefully they're in great shape. Most of them will have fireplaces and crawl spaces. They're also gonna be made out of wood. So something to look out for is termites. So make sure you get the right inspection. This home in particular has a renovated kitchen. And what they've done here is they've maintained this home in perfect condition while still maintaining the character of it. But something to look out for in this area in particular are cloth wiring, which is electrical wiring. You're gonna be very hard to find insurance with that. And like I mentioned previously, termites. To give you an idea, this home is a three bedroom, two bath at 1600 square feet and priced at 525, which presents a great value for the area. This is Mario Zendeli with the Zen Home Group. And thank you for checking out coffees, tacos, and real estate. If you wanted to know more about the Mills 50 area, please feel free to reach out to myself and my team. We'd love to help you out. And catch you next week on our next episode.